Thank you for visiting Dr. Afeb. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about cryptogenic stroke. Now, what is a cryptogenic stroke? Well, to be honest, a cryptogenic stroke is a fancy way of saying that you had a stroke and nobody knows why you had it. And this is a not uncommon thing that patients describe to me that they had a stroke in the past and they couldn't really figure out why a patient had a stroke. Uh, meaning, you had a, somebody has a stroke, they've been in the hospital, they've had MRIs done in their head, they've had testing done to look at blockages arteries of their neck or over their head, they've had a heart testing done like an echocardiogram that showed no significant valor disease or holes in your heart, and you were worn a heart monitor for several days which didn't really show any arrhythmias. So after several days, if you've gotten better, then you end up getting discharged at home. But in the end result, the patient had a stroke, but nobody really knows why it happened. And in these patients, a lot of times the, H the reason for the stroke can be undiagnosed atrial fibrillation. Now the tricky thing about these situations is that to be certain that a stroke was caused by atrial fibrillation or to be, be able to better prevent another stroke by managing atrial fibrillation better, you have to catch it. Uh, and sometimes when people are in the hospital for several days, you don't have any episodes of atrial fibrillation and you may not know that you have the condition. There have been some studies that show that when people have had a cryptogenic stroke that it can take up to 80 days of over 80 days of monitoring in order to be able to actually catch atrial fibrillation and figure out okay this patient had atrial fibrillation this was probably the reason why they had a stroke and let's make sure they get on the right treatments. And so what I emphasize to patients is when they're in the hospital with this new stroke and we have found no clear reason why they've had a stroke, that it requires further testing even outside of the hospital to see if there's any undiagnosed atrial fibrillation. Typically after hospitalization, you may start off with simple heart monitors that go on top of your skin uh, to see if there's any evidence for an undiagnosed atrial fibrillation. But some of these heart monitors on, the, on your skin, they probably last about as long as a month, which may still not pick up episodes of atrial fibrillation and once you've had a stroke picking up the reason for having a stroke or picking up reasons uh, picking up episodes of atrial fibrillation can greatly help to improve the risk of having a second stroke so sometimes people need even longer monitoring than the monitors that can go on your skin in those cases there are monitors that go underneath your skin called implantable cardiac monitors which are actually good for up to three years in terms of a battery life that can help you, your doctor figure out if you have undiagnosed atrial fibrillation and get you on the right treatment static strategy to prevent a second stroke. So if you've had a stroke and nobody seems to be very clear about why it happened to you, you've had all your neurology testing, you've had all your cardiac testing and nobody can figure out why, uh, please discuss with your doctor if you possibility of having undiagnosed atrial fibrillation and what testing may be required in order to try to figure that out. Thank you for visiting this video segment of Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.